It would have been the goal of any competent government to bring an end to destructive Buy America uh, policies that block Canadian workers and businesses from state and local projects south of the border. Yet this government has backed down to Donald Trump on pharmaceuticals with higher drug prices for Canadians, has backed down on copyright, dairy, and numerous other issues. Today, so far, they have not been able to point to any victory on Buy America. Can the minister confirm if Buy America will end with the signature of this deal? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Bit of a mystery here because last week I think the Conservatives were urging us to capitulate. They were urging us to give in. And this week the Conservatives seem not to want a deal at all. Our government did exactly what we promised Canadians. We said we wanted a good deal, not just any deal, and a good deal is what we have. The Honourable Member for Carleton. Order. Well, it's funny that they would choose to use the word capitulate, because capitulate is precisely what they have done. They, capri they have capitulated on pharmaceuticals, al allowing Trump to force higher drug costs on Canadian patients to boost American drug company profits. They've capitulated, rely al allowing for caps on the growth of Canadian auto exports. They have capitulated on copyright and dairy. The question is, what did they get in return for all of this capitulation? Did they get an end to Buy America? Yes or no? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. As I said, Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives seem to have discovered a lot of Monday morning courage, having counseled throughout this negotiation that Canada take a softer line. I think Canadians have seen that our government was determined to stand up for the national interest while being fair-minded and seeking reasonable compromise. That's exactly what we've done, Mr. Speaker, and we got a good deal for Canadians. The Honourable Member for Carleton. Well, she can misrepresent our position all she wants. I'm trying to find out the position of this government. We know that they backed down to Donald Trump by capping future growth of Canadian auto exports. They backed down to Donald Trump, forcing Canadians to pay higher prices for pharmaceuticals. We know they backed down on copyright and dairy and other policies. What did they get in return, Mr. Speaker? Is there an end today to tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum? Yes or no? Yeah. Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. very clearly something simply wrong in what the honourable member said. This deal is great for the car sector. It is great for the car parts sector. That's why the share prices of our three leading car parts companies went up today. That is not a market response that says this deal is bad for our companies and our workers. This is a deal that secures growth and investment in that crucial area, and we should all be proud that we got that. The Honourable Member for Carleton. Mr. Speaker, it's funny the Liberals are trying to take credit for things we already had for 25 years. You know, they're trying to take credit for something that was negotiated under a previous Conservative government. We know what they sacrificed, what they gave up in backing down to Donald Trump. Higher drug costs for Canadian consumers and higher profits for American companies. We know they gave up a lot for Donald Trump, but what about on softwood lumber? Tariffs have killed jobs in the forestry industry in Canada for a long time. Have they finally put an end to Trump's tariffs on softwood lumber? Yes or no? Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what we got for the softwood lumber industry. It's something called Chapter 19. <laughs> Order. Hello. 
Order. 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 